Greetings, Lyme Regis Baptist Church family, and of course, a warm welcome as ever to anybody else who's joining us for this week's online content for the 4th of October. Into October already. Where's the time going? Update items and a big thank you for all those who managed to get out and pay their respects to Mel last Tuesday. Phil, Nicola, Lucy and the whole family really appreciate all the support. I hope that everybody has had a chance or an opportunity to see the webcast recording of Mel's funeral service. If not, I hope to get the video up onto the um, Lyme Regis Baptist Ch Church website, not the YouTube channel, but the website for a while. And please let me know if you're unable to access this for some reason. And of course, let's continue to remember Phil, Nicola, Lucy and the family, and of course, Richard and the family, and Shirley Lidicote and the family for their loss during this um, strange and challenging period of time that we had. A new newsletter from Sophie, Louis and Meredith is available. I've sent it out on the email circular and printed copies will be made available for those who need them. Next week, Chris Strata will be providing all the content for Sunday. That's the 11th of October. It will be focusing on the work of the leprosy mission and in particular, the work in Nigeria. Chris will also provide the opportunity for those interested to have a couple of Zoom chats with him on a couple of different days. Um, uh, that's just for question and answers um, for the work and anything else really to do with the leprosy mission. And I'll be emailing out those details for those Zoom chats. Um, please do let me know if you don't receive any of this. Of course, check your email junk boxes to make sure it hasn't gone there accidentally. But I want to be able to confirm that everybody's getting these emails so that I've got the right addresses. So let me know if you haven't got any of these things. Finally, while we don't yet meet on a Sunday, opportunities to meet are available. The Wednesday prayer meeting from 10.30 a.m., Neil's house group each Thursday from 7 p.m., and from Tuesday the 13th, the house group that Ros and I lead will be meeting from 7 p.m. All of this is taking place up in the Pine Hall and following COVID guidelines. If you don't already attend and are interested in any of these meetings, please get in touch with me beforehand if you'd like to come along. So we come to the online content for this week. And in terms of this week, um, we have the prayers presented by Val and we have the reading, or I should say two readings, the first from Psalm 139, that's verses 1 to 10, and then Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. And these are read and presented by Kevin. And again, a big thanks to both of you for doing this for us. The teaching subject considers the state of our hearts, that deepest part of our character and identity music and as ever thank you again mark for putting together the music selection for searching out the songs and getting the links um i've they've been selected this week because these particular songs have reference to psalm 139 within the lyrics and the songs include you are for me by kari job woven together by stuart townend far too wonderful by shane and shane and empty-handed here i come and that's Tim Hughes. And the testimony song for this week is from Roy. And Roy has chosen this week's testimony song um, as it's one that he sang three years ago at the Snowdrop service that was taking place in St. Michael's that year in the parish church. At the end of the service, he noticed a lady standing alone and in deep thought. He spoke with her and discovered that only two months previously, she'd lost her daughter. She told him how this song, Oh Let the Son of God Enfold You, had greatly moved her, and in particular, some of the words from verse 2, Oh give him all your tears of sadness. So thank you for that, Roy. Now, before we get into looking at all this content, let's just commit ourselves to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you that you are the God that is with us, that you are a God that speaks, that you are a God deeply involved in our lives, that just as Psalm 139 tells us, that you are so deeply involved in our lives, that you are the one that's given us life and sustains our lives. You know our every thought, our every move. We can't escape from you. And we thank you that you're for us, not against us. We thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you for all this content. We thank you for the songs and the lyrics. We thank you for the 
having access to Bibles and being able to read them. So we thank you for your word. We thank you that we can come and pray. So we simply ask you now, Father, that you would use all this to build us up into the fullness of Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.